what is going on guys it's your boy trent back with our video today we're going to talk about zach evans the former five-star running back from tcu announced he's transferring it looks like there's a pretty good chance he may become the old miss so today we're going to talk about the possibility of evans coming to old miss and talk about the old miss running back situation right now so old miss's top three running backs here in 2021 was jaron ely snoop connor and henry Parrish jr ely had 133 carries for 768 yards, five touchdowns on the season. Snoop Connor, 130 carries for 647 yards, 13 touchdowns on the season. And Ole Miss also has Henry Parrish Jr., 105 carries for 553 yards, three touchdowns on the season. Now, here is some information and stats on Evans and also uh, TCU's other running back as well. So here in 2021, Evans had 92 carries for 648 yards, five touchdowns, and TCU's other running back, and I'll be honest with you, I actually like this other running back from TCU more. His name is Kendry Miller. He has 83 carries for 623 yards, seven touchdowns on the season. So what is the possibility of him coming to Ole Miss? What is my thoughts and situation on this? And I will say, uh, this is just my opinion. You know, y'all may agree, y'all may disagree, but this is the way I'm looking at it. Now, if y'all have never heard of this kid's recruiting story, uh, it was one of the craziest recruiting stories I ever heard of. It seemed like the kid was always, the kid's always been in trouble, always been in drama, it seems like. Uh, definitely back in his high school days. Now, I will say, since he's been in college for a couple of years, he has grown up, he has matured some, but the kid's still been in trouble some. And if he does come to Ole Miss, you know, I don't want any trouble, I don't want no drama. Um, I, I know Evans missed a home opener this year for TCU. Might have missed the, another game or two. But the, the kid, it seems like he's just always in trouble or surrounded by drama. I mean, the kid's very good, very talented. But if he comes to Ole Miss, I just don't want no trouble. I just don't want no drama. Now, when you watch, uh, if you watch Evans on TV, watch film, watch highlights, I'm going to tell you the first thing that comes to mind, or the first player that comes to mind, if you're talking about comparison. To me, I think it's Melvin Gordon. Uh, when you watch film, watch highlights, just the play style, the way they play, Melvin Gordon, first player that comes to mind. Uh, second player that comes to mind, probably be Chris Johnson, the former Titans running back. I do see a little Chris Johnson in this game as well. Now, Evans... Uh, very, very quick. Uh, does have some pretty good moves as a running back. The thing with him is he's not the strongest running back. A lot of times when he gets hit, he falls down. So not really the best at, um, you know, breaking tackles. Not not your strongest running back out there. But he is pretty good, pretty talented. So um, Ole Miss, we are losing Ewey. Ewey announced after the Sugar Bowl he's not coming back. So Ewey was our starting running back. So as of right now, we still have Snoop Connor. We still have Henry Parrish Jr. Now there is also some rumors that Snoop Connor uh, could possibly be transferring as well. So losing Ewe could be losing Snoop as well. If we lose both of those guys, we still have Henry Parrish Jr., uh, which is still pretty good as well. But Parrish not as good as Ewe and Snoop. So. I, I would love to see Evans come to Ole Miss. I think Ole Miss has at least a 40% chance of getting the kid, 40 or 50% chance. Uh, I do believe Evans is in the top three for Ole Miss. Uh, even though Crystal Ball has in favor to us, um, of course, that's just their opinion as well. Sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong. But I do believe Evans, I, I think Evans is just going to kind of take his time right now. And to be honest with you, I think he may be waiting on Snoop. Uh, I think he's probably heard some rumors about Snoop weaving. And I'll tell you this. This is my opinion. I think if Snoop weaves, I think Evans is coming, no doubt. Now, if Snoop stays at Ole Miss, I think Evans will reconsider or, um, you know, just kind of think about it. 
Uh, I think Evans wants to be the best running back on the team. He wants to be your every down back. Um, so if he comes to Ole Miss, you know, still have some pretty good running backs as well. He may not take the carries he wants. So I think he's kind of looking at that as well. But, uh, of course, with me being a fan, I would love to see him come to Ole Miss. And uh, I think Ole Miss has a pretty good chance. But um, we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, you know, once again, if he comes, I hope there's no drama, no trouble. But um, the kid is pretty good, pretty talented. Plays just like Melvin Gordon. I'm a huge Melvin Gordon fan. So uh, that's just kind of my thoughts on the whole situation. Um, love to hear y'all's feedback on this as well. If y'all agree, uh, disagree, just want to hear y'all's feedback on this as well. But that's pretty much all I got. So uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day, guys. Howdy toddy.